Hey guys, welcome to another episode here of Computer Warriors Community. Today the topic is going to be on solid state hard drives and how they differ from standard mechanical rotational drives. I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the features and the differences, then we're going to do a real life demonstration here and how this can impact you personally. Um, so first off, I'm just going to show you a couple of quick drives here. We have these partially disassembled. So on my right here, I guess it's your left, this is going to be a standard spinning drive. This is going to be a laptop hard drive probably running at 5400 RPMs or 7200 RPMs. Now a drive like this has a read write head, which I'll show you, kind of moves over the platters. You can see that. And the disc spins at a very high rotational volume. Now what happens here is that there's a lot of moving parts with this and you know really a lot of risk for failure. If you drop your laptop or have a shock um, or you know too much heat and just general wear and tear these things can wear out. We do a lot of drive replacements here at the Computer Warriors. It's one of the most common components to fail in a device. Now let's contrast that to a solid state hard drive. This is actually a Samsung solid state hard drive internally. This is what we typically sell here at the Computer Warriors. Now this as you can see has no moving parts, no rotation. Uh, but it just has little tiny you know, memory chips here. Uh, it's basically like flash memory technology. It's the same thing that you might find inside of a uh, flash drive or a thumb drive that you're probably very familiar with, except for this is extremely high speed. So some of the benefits of these are uh, very low heat, very low power consumption, longer battery life of your laptop, extremely fast. You don't have to worry about this read-write head to go back and forth to find data, um, and extremely reliable. These things hardly ever fail. At least there's no mechanical failures. Occasionally there's a kind of still a disk failure or electronic, but those are few and far between. Now, you may be hearing all that and say, okay, well that, that's great, but you know, how does this impact me? Well, what I'm gonna do here is just demo two computers. Uh, they are identical HP Pro books that we have uh, for sale here at the office. The one on the right, uh, your, your right, I guess, and my right now, is a uh, 250 gig solid state hard drive. And the one over here on the left is a 320 gig mechanical spinning drive. So we're gonna turn both of these on and see how they go. I'm going to go ahead and start the stopwatch. About 10 seconds in, the one on the right has already booted to Windows. I'll go ahead and start web browsing. Okay, let's see here. We're already online. We'll go to a couple web pages. Excellent. Let's minimize the screen. See the one on the left, we're at 31 seconds, 32 seconds. Still booting up. Malwarebytes is up. We'll open up Cleaner, And you get the point. We're still booting up. Let's see if we can shut this guy down on the right. And it may even shut down before the one on the left boots up. I'm going to go ahead and stop this. So if you have a laptop that may be a few years old, it might be running a little bit slowly, and this is kind of common, maybe about a minute for startup, think of what can happen if that drive was replaced with a standard spinning drive that's getting a little bit old with one of those solid state hard drives. It can mean a world of difference to your productivity and just your level of patience, uh, but you get the job done a lot faster. So that's it in a nutshell about solid state hard drives. Uh, I have them on every single computer that I own, every single computer we use internally here at the store for the employees. They all have solid state hard drives. I can't recommend them enough. Um, hopefully we'll get a chance to see you here at some point, but do keep this in mind. Um, there's very few computers that you can buy today that come standard with solid state hard drives. So if you go to a big box store and you're trying to buy a computer with one of these, um, you're just not gonna find it too often. You will find them in almost every MacBook Pro, MacBook Air. Um, Apple realizes the value of these and they will put those in their devices, but you will be paying a premium. So come by the store today, come take a look, we'll see what we can do for you in terms of a solid state drive. And um, that's our topic today for Computer Warriors Community. Thank you so much.